Well, speaking of outside, let's check in with K2K meteorologist Andrew Sammet. Andrew, you know, we got some events going on this weekend. Is it going to be nice, clear skies or is it going to be some rain? There'll be a small chance of storms here or there, but nothing really too bad. Overall, a really nice weekend in store for us here in East Texas. Let's take a look at latest satellite and radar out there. We've got some clouds out in deep East Texas still, but areas north of there looking pretty good. You can see some rain showing up on the radar, but that is uh, inaccurate uh, image there. The radar uh, getting an error, uh, but there is no clouds there, so can't be any rain without clouds. Temperatures right now are sitting out into the upper 70s to lower 80s, so it is a pretty warm start to our day today, but overall not too bad for this time of the year for this hour. Now forecast highs for today will be climbing to the upper 80s for the most part, although there will be a few low 90s out there as well, so be prepared for a cooler than average day, but still of course warm. It is still summer. We'll see a northeast wind at 10 miles per hour, but overall not looking too bad, especially for this time of the year. Normal high temperature is 95 degrees, so we are going to be well below that for our day today. We will see an increase in the temperatures though for Saturday. Highs in the low 90s there because again, rain chances remain limited, so nothing really to cool us off. But as rain chances increase next week, that's when we are going to see a significant drop in the temperatures. You can see by Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday as well, we're only going to see those high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. That's it for us. And so we are going to get a lot cooler next week and stay with highs in the 80s through much of next week as well as we see the rain increase here next week. Now we did see a lot of rain over the past 48 hours though. So here's a latest update on the July rainfall totals. We have picked up 4.49 inches in Tyler, 5.57 inches in Longview and 6.08 inches out in Lufkin. That is good for a surplus of about three to four inches across the area. And we're only going to add in over an inch of rain heading into next week to these numbers. So that is some great news in our driest month of the year. High temperatures again to recap today, climbing to the upper 80s with isolated storms possible, mainly in deep east Texas. And then for tonight, we are going to drop down to the upper 60s underneath partly cloudy skies, so expect a quiet night ahead for us. Here is a look at your seven day forecast. Now we are going to see the chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm for our day on Saturday, but most of us are going to be dry. We are going to see the storm chances increase though as we head into next week. Sunday scattered showers and thunderstorms, but Monday they become more numerous in nature, so be prepared for the rain and then we will keep those highs in the mid 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday with more scattered showers and a thunderstorms and then for deep east Texas we are going to see a chance for an isolated shower or storm today as well but overall we're a mostly dry start to the weekend but scattered showers and thunderstorms arrive on Sunday increasing for the day on Monday again that is going to keep those high temperatures a lot cooler than average thanks to the clouds and rain with highs only in the low to mid 80s Monday through Thursday of next week with rain chances at 60% on Wednesday for deep east Texas and then up to 40% on Thursday for your latest weather forecast you can head on over to our website 